Hey guys, welcome back to Jersey Shore Beers and Brews Reviews. Friday night, baby. Got some beers we're going to do. Um, I was in the liquor store, seen uh, an old one that I haven't seen in a long time. Samuel Adams, the chocolate Bach. Uh, I've seen that once in my life and never seen it again. But it's here today, which is kind of cool. Um, it says, uh, rich and decadent. This GABF award-winning Bach has big multi-character with the added sweetness of chocolate. Extended aging on a bed of cocoa nibs imparts a smooth, complex flavor and velvety finish. Our special treat to you this season. Cheers. Comes in at 5.8%, which is not that big for a Bach. I mean, it's not a double Bach, but I get it. Limited release. So uh, we'll show you the label up on the timeline. And uh, let's pop it and see what it looks. This should come in uh, almost coffee color. Maybe a little darker. Oh yeah, we're dark. Nice head on that thing. Doesn't seem to be too thick. I think I can smell it. And I definitely smell the chocolate. This is gonna be yummy. I like yummy. For Friday night, yummy's good. The other one I got is a, an Imperial Pumpkin Ale. I'm excited about. The label got me on that one. But uh, let's see what it smells like. Oh, yeah. 100% chocolate. Uh, maybe a little bit of hops in there. Not much. Uh, floral a little bit. Uh, just mostly chocolate, though. That thick chocolate, dark chocolate thing going on. Looks pretty good. It is very dark. Similar to a Guinness. Nice head on it. It's frothy there. Retention looks good. Creaminess. Well, let's try it. Hmm. I sure hope you like chocolate. If you like chocolate, you're going to like this beer. Um, it's not, it doesn't have, it's not overpowering in the chocolate department. It has enough to make its statement. I use those words. Um, a little bit of hops back it up. Doesn't finish just all sweet. I think it's a nice blend. I think you got a winner here, Sammy. You know, granted, I don't think I'd be drinking this because it's 70 degrees out. We've got like this. Indian summer going on. Just happened to be like, I don't know, even 75 today. And I've seen this and I was like, ah, oh, I'll get this. And then I'm like, well, oh, where's the summer ale? <laughs> but uh, there is no summer ale. So we got this and we got the pumpkin because like I said, I got caught by the label on the next one. We'll show you that one up. Um, mm, that is a treat. Definitely a treat. Um, I hate to, it, it's, it's, it's going to be in the eights. Um, and I don't know why I hate to say that, but, you know, I kind of use the eights as like, that's the reaching point. And when I've had a couple beers back to back to back here that got in the eights, I feel like I'm getting soft. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to give this one an eight one. This is going to come in at an eight one. Um, it's very nice. Um, if I had one, I would definitely share it with someone. Uh, comes in at 11 IBUs and it's uh, it's just sweet it's just it's just a great great beer great style beer chocolate Bach Rick and decadent limited release so that's a review guys if you're going out tonight be safe guys uh, if you're drinking don't drive you know if you're driving don't drink and uh, we'll catch you on the next one peace see ya